Welcome back to Electrical Power Plus. In this video, we will see about measuring points routing in Dixie 5 software of Siemens. For example, I have opened one 7SL86 line differential plus line distance relay. And here I go to option measuring point routing. The concept of measuring point routing is we have some physical measuring terminals available at the device for example this is the 7SL86 device in this device we have some connecting points where we can connect our measuring points measuring points mean we have a current transformer connections and we have voltage transformer connections in this relay so whatever the connections which terminal blocks you using for what purpose or for what measurement this we will decide in the measuring point routing. The physical connections are shown in the measuring point routing. After opening the device, 7SL86 or any other device, whatever you have in your project, we need to select the measuring point routing option. We need to double click it. Its window will appear as it's showing measuring points routing. Here we have different options available. For example, if we see at the top side we have current measuring points and we have voltage measuring points now the option selected is voltage measuring point if we want to see the current measuring points we will click on current measuring points the current measuring points will be appear here how we can work how we can understand the current measuring points as you can see i already told you that some hardware channel is available for measuring points at each device. Its terminal will be shown here. As you can see, it is included in the base module of this device. In the base modules, we have many terminal blocks such as block A, B, C. So the current measuring points are available in block 1A. 1A mean the first uh, module of this block from left side and downside terminals available 1A1 1A2 these two terminals for which phase you have to assign here if you click here you can type I A now I put I A and I take it take it I A so what we what's the meaning of this that our I am in red phase, red phase current. So our red phase current will pass through this coil. This I we have assigned that our red phase wire will we will connect to 1A1 and 1A2. Similarly, terminal number 1A3, 1 and 4, what we will give IB, our yellow phase current, yellow phase cable from CT, we will connect to 1A3 and 1A4. Similarly, 1A5 and 6 for IC and uh, 1A7 and 1A8 for IN. Here we have option available that our CT connection we can define. If we open this drop down arrow, we have C three phase plus IN mean neutral, simple three phase, uh, three phase plus IN separate separate mean the separate CT available for neutral 3 phase plus 2 primary CT 3 phase plus 2 primary CT plus I and separate 2 phase 2 primary CT plus I and separate so usually our system is 3 phase plus neutral red yellow blue and neutral we take from start point of the CT we use this if for example where i have a delta connected ct i have no i don't have any neutral i will select this option three phase only i will show you if i select this three phase as you can see the neutral disappear from the here so ia ib and ic because we don't have neutral the because the connection type we have selected that our ct is only three phase that's why now if i open again this drop down three phase plus i n separate when I select this option, you can see here. Here now we I, we have option to add I and when we add it will be added. 
Also, we have here option to add new measuring points. I will make it default again. Okay. Okay, I click three phase, single phase. Which uh, connect measuring point we need to add? For example, I want to add three phase. Count mean how much interface? Uh, only one times we need to add. So okay, we will select one and okay. Now the error appear because already a three phases are available. Another three phase uh, error will come. We will we will see what error is actually coming. If we go into inconsistencies, here we can see. Configuration is inconsistent. Configure the merging point to the terminals properly. Yes, because here we don't uh, still up to now we not select anything. Okay, if I select I A, because I A is already available. I space A. Okay, now I A remove from here and come to here. The error will uh, the error is still available because we cannot add uh, two. For example, if there is a red phase CT, so this red phase CT, either from this CT, either from outside CT, it will come to this one A one and one A two terminal. So together, two CTs cannot come to the same terminal. That's why the error is coming. So what we have to do? We need to delete this uh, second. I will add I A I A here again. You can see the error disappear. Some other relays have more CT terminals available. For example, in this in this relay we have only one A block for CT. Some other relays has one B block also. So one B one, one B two, one B three, one B four. Another separate terminal block, hard wire channel available for measuring point routing. So if this available mean we can add another measuring point and we can add this CT two there. And uh, also some relays has three CT options, three three blocks available. For example, one A block, one B block, and uh, one uh, one uh, one C or two C anything available. It will be appear here. If for example, if this relay seven S L eighty six has more current channels more current channels available it will when we double click on my point routing it will it will be shown here so now not available mean only one block available and one ct option is available so we can connect one ct here uh, for example if there is a differential relay the front differential relay is a 7ut85 for example the front junction relay has two cts one for hv one for LV, and sometimes uh, there are three winding transformers, and we have three CTs for uh, differential. Or sometimes it is using for a one and half breaker scheme, two CT for HV and one CT for LV. So this relay will be more uh, current channels available, and it will be shown here. Now, if we check the voltage measuring points, so. How much channels available? We can see from here only one channel available for voltage. Also, this is a one B, the terminal one B one, one B two, for uh, this is the coil one, one B three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. Four coils available. We can assign any coil, uh, any voltage. For example, we are going to connect V A red phase voltage to one A one B one, one B two, one B three, one B four blue phase, a uh, yellow phase. One B five, one B six, blue phase, and one B seven, one B eight. Our bus voltage. As here you can see, we have added two measuring points. One is three phase VT, and another is single phase VT. So the three phase VT, we have connected three phase to ground voltage VA, BC to first three coils, and the fourth coil we not connect to this VT, and we connected to other measuring point which is single phase VT, which which and and this is the VB VB mean. Uh, we are uh, going to connect any single phase voltage with uh, with this 
here we have options different actually we are using this point for the bus vt okay so from here we can select for example we have option of our but bus vt is single we will connect va vb vc whatever available if our bus voltage is line to line we can change here from v for example vab so it will take us vab in line to line so i will change it to again I will try to show you the differential relay measuring point. You can see here more current and uh, voltage channels are available. Voltage channel not more but current channels more available because this is a differential. For differential we need minimum 2 or 3. So I will go to measuring point slotting. What I have told you already here I have okay the current channels are available in the base module 1a complete channel again 1b complete channel and other ct is available in expansion module at position number 3 if we count from module from left side i we have first module second module and third module 3a mean third module third module is also one channel available so here are three, three current channels available so we can connect our CTs to these modules as you can see we have I3 phase and I3 phase we have two CTs available one CT for high voltage and one CT for maybe low voltage so as you can see our high voltage we connected 1A, 1B, 1C and IN IA, IB, IC, IN to module A and again for our CT number 2 which is for the low voltage side of the transformer IA, IB, IC, IN and if we have for example another CT we can we have option to connect here now for example we, I add new CT 3 phase ok it's adding now it's red red mean uh, I have not connected any point to any terminal ok I will use the third terminal when I connect to third you can see IA IB IC IN as you can see now it become white white mean no error available measuring point is not connected root to function group or to measuring unit okay this I will explain this part to next video because this point is concerned with the function group connection. So in the next lecture I will describe how function group connection work and how we connect our measuring point to the function group connections. So this is a concept of the measuring point routing. Thank you for watching this video.